Alright guys, hey Zink here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Joe video. Sorry this one's a wee bit later, um, it's Sunday. Didn't want to wake my wife up by recording this video too early, so about three hours later than normal, but here is your walkthrough for Undying Thunder. Um, some of you might have actually got a little bit stuck at this puzzle because I can see this time how this one would maybe be a little bit more taxing for some people, more so than the last one, um, and some people found the last one taxing, so... I'm assuming some people will be looking for this guide. Hopefully it's not too late in the day that um, you've already been sitting stumped for quite a while. But after we've done these first couple of fights, um, we'll be on the guide for the puzzle quite quickly. So you've not got long to wait. I have gone back to using the free to play team so that I can put <laughs> free to play clear in the thumbnail again. And yeah. That's, that's us, we're kind of just going to move on here and get these done and out the road as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So that's us, we're just going to move on to the puzzle now and we'll walk through this one quite easily, right? So, time for the puzzle. Right, so, here we go. This one, there's a lot of pushing boxes up and out the road, basically, right? So the, the key to this is this box here you want to leave that there, right? As long as you leave that box there, that is essentially the key to doing this entire thing, okay? So once you've left that box that I just specified where I said to leave it, you want to basically come up to the top with each and every box, okay? So that will mean you have three boxes at the top. As you can see here, we're going to have to go through and push all of these boxes up one by one to get them up and out the road so that we've got a clear path and essentially all you're doing is going back on yourself and doing it in reverse because obviously because you've got a, a spot at the bottom that you need to fill in you need a pathway all the way down so that means that you've always got to finish the move on top okay that is literally the key to this entire puzzle You've got to finish the move on top. If you do it in any other order, you're going to either finish the move when you've moved the box at either the left, the right side, or down below. And at that point, you're stuck. So by doing it this way, whenever you finish, you will finish either at the left or the right or above, which will mean you can always continue on and do the next one and the next one and the next one. So that's it. Like. You should now, hopefully, already be able to see the solution. You shouldn't need to watch the rest of this because at this point, you've essentially solved the puzzle. All you're doing now is going back on yourself, step by step, until you've got a complete clear, right? Which is, again, what we're doing at this stage right now. So, just because of the nature of this, we're going to need to let the video play out and you'll see the rest of the puzzle pieces slotting into place. But that's box number one in nice and easy and then again you just repeat that process another three times okay i don't know what it is with these boxes i don't know if it's just because i've now done so many of these that i really don't find these hard anymore which i guess is good for people that come here looking for a guide on how to do them do i want them to mix it up the selfish part of me says no because then what I'm going to make a video on, <laughs> but I can see how a lot of people don't like these. Um, I mean, apart from the fact that really, what is Street Fighter about pushing boxes? Um, they take a bit of time. I mean, this one here has probably been about what four minutes or something, and I don't really get the sense in it. I'd rather have like a score challenge or something like that. That would maybe make a bit more sense introduce a bonus game like the car from Street Fighter 2 where you've got to put your team and do a certain amount of damage or something I mean that would be a bit more in line with the game rather than shoving about these brown boxes but hey again it's something for me to make a video on so I can't really complain too much so that's it that's your puzzle done really now you know it's pretty much straight shooting all the way to the final battle once you've done that final battle you will get yourself another copy of jury i do need to make a follow-up video on jury to be honest um 
I wouldn't say that I've soured on her, but what I would say is I need to speak about her a little bit because while what I said in the original video that she is a harder hitting DPS trigger unit than Ken, it's not necessarily as straightforward as that, right? Um, I'm going to go over it in its own video, so I'm not going to like go too deep on it just now. But a trigger unit like that should most definitely not be your top priority, right? Put it that way, it should definitely not be your top priority if you're summoning, unless you're someone who's got most of the other key units, okay? I think a unit like that should be viewed as an extra rather than a priority. Um, I'm not going to do an updated priority video, but I'll certainly go into a bit more detail when I'm talking in that other video about her strengths and weaknesses, shall we say. Because there is quite a few. I hate this bubble popping. Like, this also reminds me that I've not been doing secret training. For some reason, when secret training doesn't give out gems, I just don't care about it. Right. Moving on through here. I'm going to fast forward these fights. I am, right? So we'll just we'll do it. We still see them, but we're just going to zip through them. So you can see here, completed with the free to play team. Free to play team, still just completing it. FA on, absolutely smashing it. Again. Smashing it. Maybe I fast forwarded a bit too fast there. Keep going. Making our way through. And then we're getting towards the boss fight. I like the boss fight run. Done. So that's all your stages cleared for you to play. That's just a case of the boss fight. Again guys, you can just choose this free to play team. You can just, honestly, your Honda doesn't need to be built. You can just run this basic combo. It'll give you enough. If you don't get enough points on the first round, come second or third round, you will. Somebody asked me recently in a video, how can you get a high enough combo? Because they can't do it on the last boss. Remember, you don't need to clear the boss on day one. If you cannot beat the boss the day that these unlock, you can wait until you've fully upgraded your battle lust and you can go back in and do it. At that point you will be fairly beefy with a lot of different bonuses and stuff, so don't worry about it too much if you can't beat the boss the day that these stages unlock, because again, just wait until you've got the power-ups, go back in, and then you'll beat it pretty easily. There's your second free copy of Jury, red stones, your summoning ticket, your yellow stones, and your diamonds. All is done, all is complete. I've been Hazink, catch you in the next one. Peace.